what's up family welcome back to the channel i'm coming back to you all today with another reaction video and in recent trends the number one selling video game that has over 1 million downloads on the Nintendo Switch is called The Cult of the Lamb. Yes, a game that is teaching your children how to build an occult, talking about tarot cards, crystals, human sacrifice, indoctrination, and it's absolutely demonic. It's satanic, and it is a plot against your children, your grandchildren, your nieces, nephews, whoever kids that's in your life this affects them this is affecting our generation and let's just go ahead and get started and stay tuned for my reaction first ladies and gentlemen i want to go ahead and give you a little trigger warning if you are under the age of 16 that i would not recommend that you watch this video if you were 15 to 13 i would recommend that you get your parents permission before watching and if you're 12 and under go ahead and click off this video right now now let's go ahead and get started uh, hey everyone let's go ahead and get started once again if you were under the age of 16 get your parents permission if you were under the age of 13 go ahead and click off of this video now so let's go ahead and get started first things first this is the game trailers official gameplay trailer to the cult of the lamb which again is extremely satanic extremely demonic to indoctrinate your children and to teach them how to build their own occult which the person who is being the voice of the possessed lamb or the demonized lamb goes on to talk about that but let's just go ahead and start reacting and this is the one minute and 57 second one and i will be watching this on 1.25 speed throughout this one i'm not going to say anything and then i'll play the next one so i'm through this one i'm not going to say anything because it's kind of short so just so you guys know i'm just going to Stay quiet on this one and you can just watch my face to see what I think about it. You are the mighty lamb in massive monster and devolver digital cult of the lamb. Saved from sacrifice by the one who waits, you're compelled to repay the dead by creating a cult in their name. So, here's a few tips on how to start your very first cult. Step one, grow your flock. Go crusading into the lands of the old faith to find new followers and defeat the false prophets. <laughs> Back home, indoctrinate your new followers into the cult. Name them, change their form, and learn what makes them unique. Choose your doctrine to set the rules of your cult. Draw power from your followers by giving daily sermons and watch their faith grow. Step two, satisfy the faithful. As the mighty lamb, you have to tend to your flock. Lead them, feed them, and build your small community into a thriving woodland cult. Throw a grand feast, shower them with gifts, or maybe marry a follower. Keep your flock happy and your shrines will shine with their devotion. If the needs of your followers are not met, however, they will begin to lose faith. Step 3. Cleanse the non-believers. Unhappy followers will rise against you and try to persuade the others to leave the cult. Will you gently re-educate them in the ways of the Lamb, or perform dark rituals and sacrifice them to the gods? It's up to you what kind of cult leader you become. Starting a cult is no easy ride. You scavenge for resources and battle heretics, but righteous victory will be yours. So guide your flock, grow your power, and spread the word of the Lamb. Oh, uh, yeah. So first things first. This is obviously extremely demonic. It's talking about building a cult. Cleanse the unbelievers. It's talking about indoctrinating those who try to persuade others. And then satisfy the believers. Perform dark rituals to indoctrinate them. It's up to you to decide what kind of a cult leader you want to become. Which is absolutely ridiculous. But I'm going to go ahead and play the second one. Also in 1.25 speed. So, let me go ahead. And this was uploaded by Nintendo itself. And, rem and I'm going to be pausing through this one. And it has like the same starting point. But it goes deeper into talking about other stuff. Absolutely insane. But let's go ahead and watch. And again, I will be commentating on this one. Because it is a little bit longer. So... 
Lamb, the mighty lamb, a massive monster and evolver digital's cult of the lamb. Saved from sacrifice by the one who waits, you're compelled to repay the dead by creating a cult in their name. So first things first, the whole reason that the lamb, which you, if you were playing the lamb in kind of like a third person kind of circumstance and you were saved from human sacrifice and you have to pay the debt by starting a cult in their name so here's a few tips on how to start your very first cult also guys i want you to notice like like the dark figures the like the five pointed star which is satanic if you didn't know it is a symbol of the satanic church you see the dark figures obviously it represents the kingdom of darkness the candles that could go into some sort of witchcraft altars and stuff and later it goes on to talk about indoctrination stuff. step one grow your flock so step one is to grow your flock crusading into the lands of the old faith to find new followers and defeat the false prophets <laughs> Back home, indoctrinate your new followers into the cult. Name them, change their form, and learn what makes So, with this, you can indoctrinate new followers, change their form, change their character, and change everything about them. Can I tell you that this is a foreshadowing of they want to transform your children. They want to change the form of your children. If you see, like, you roll the dice and you can, like, change their form. You can change, like, what kind of character that they are. So this is a foreshadowing that the kingdom of darkness wants to change you, want to change your teenagers, your children, and it's absolutely insane. We live in a generation, speaking from my generation, I'm Gen Z, which is from the ages of 10 to 25, so a 15-year streak here. I'm in the, this generation, and I can tell you that my generation is addicted to video games. I know multiple people who own a Nintendo Switch, and remember, there have been 1 million downloads for this game. So this is a foreshadowing that they want to change the form of your children. The unique. Choose your doctrine to set the rules of your cult. Draw power from your followers by giving daily sermons. So you can transform your followers in and gain power, which is the Jezebelic spirit, because the spirit of Jezebel wants to control, manipulate, have power. Also, the spirit of witchcraft, human sacrifice, the spirit of human sacrifice, which is the spirit of death, the spirit of suicide. And we always wonder in the church, well, why did another teenager got die? Why did another 20-something-year-old die? Why did another 12-year-old kill themselves? Because parents are not watching what their children are listening to, what they're watching, what video games they're playing, and it's absolutely ridiculous. And watch their faith grow. Step two, satisfy the Step faithful. Step two is to As satisfy the faithful. You have to tend to your flock, lead them, feed them, and build your small community into a thriving woodland cult. Throw a grand feast, shower them with gifts, or maybe marry a follower. Keep your flock happy and your shrines will shine with their devotion. If the needs of your followers are not met, however, they will begin to lose faith. Step three. So, if the needs of your followers are not met, then they may begin to lose faith. Lose faith in what? Witchcraft? Indoctrination? Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, step three is to cleanse which again is a perverse way to twist the thing and i want you guys to notice that in the satan's kingdom if you've ever listened to john ramirez he is a ex like high priest of the satanic church is now a born again believer when we pray in spiritual tongues they pray in demonic tongues when we prophesy then they use the spirit of divination when we cleanse with the blood of jesus christ they cleanse with the blood of human sacrifice so the word perversion is just a twisted version of what we do and it only goes after the gospel of jesus christ it doesn't have to go after the doctrine of allah why because the the kingdom of darkness is working against Christianity because Satan knows that there is only one God and his name is Jesus Christ. Cleanse the non-believers. Unhappy followers will rise against you and try to persuade the others to leave the cult. Will you gently re I'm going to back that up for a second so I can the read. Non-believers. Unhappy followers will rise against you and try to persuade the others to leave the cult. Will you 
re-educate this enter. This follower has lost their way and show them the truth. Eventually, they will stop dissenting. And notice the book that they're holding. It looks like a Bible because it has a cross on it. But in reality, it's the demonic version. And notice like the glowing eyes. That is exactly, if you look into somebody's eyes, if you've ever done deliverance, you can see the demon manifesting. Loretta and I, shout out to Loretta who's watching this. I know she is. We done a deliverance yesterday. So on Monday, August the... 22nd and this person was manifesting and you could see the eyes so notice with this lamb you can see but you can see like the demonic behind it like you could just see it and it's blankly obvious also notice the symbolic of the eyes in the background if you look to the left then you can see like the little thing with the eye. The same thing the lamb is wearing the things with the eye. Um, the thing in the background with like the red curtain. It also looks like an eye. Which could be a representation of the Illuminati. If you look to the left. Not the not the eye being to the left. Sorry the right. And if you look to the left. You can see like a stone like that's in a circle. It has an upside down cross. Which is again is demonic. And it is a perverse version of the gospel. So. Let's the weaves of the lamb or perform dark rituals and sacrifice them to the gods. It's up to you. So, again, this is talking about human sacrifice. What is this teaching your children? It is teaching that human sacrifice is okay. Being in an occult is okay. Being in a Wiccan occult is okay. Being in other occults like certain denominations of churches. Yes, there are also Christian occults who are Christian, but in reality, it's witchcraft. And it's teaching that it's okay to go to psychics and get a tarot card reading. And I find it absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and go forward a little bit. So, Cultish Encounters. This is the title of, like, the next chapter. So, Sermons from the Land, Cultish Encounters. No one said it was easy to create a cult in the name of the one who waits. Sometimes it might seem like all hope is lost, but the strength of your convictions will keep you on the righteous path, along with the helping. Notice of everything it talks about sermons, which is what I, which is what most people in the church use. Let's back it up to what he says. It's easy to create a cult in the name of the one who waits. Sometimes it might seem like all hope is lost. But the strength of so it says, sometimes it may seem like all hope is lost, but, keep you on the righteous but your convictions, so as Christians, we feel convictions, it will keep you on the righteous path. So everything that the church stands for is being perverted, and it's only the church of Jesus Christ that the kingdom of darkness is following after. They don't go around Bo Buddhists, Muslims, um, anything like that. Or Hindus or anything like that, but they only come after the Christian church. Along with the helping hands of a few friends, here are some of the folks who will help as you proceed through the lands of the old faith. Ratau. Ratau was once a vessel for the Red Crown. Now he's your guide and mentor. Once he's taught you the art of cult creation, he plans to. So, this guy, Ratau. He he teaches the lamb how to create an occult. They are doing something with some sort of dice. I've never been a witchcraft. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name. But I don't really know what this is about. But all I know is that it helps you create an occult. So um, it looks like some sort of gambling with dice or something. Not really sure what that is. So if anybody knows what this is, let me know down in the comments below because I wanna I wanna know like. The roots of this. Retirement playing knuckle bones. Clown neck. Clown neck is the keeper of the tarot cards that guide you. See? Clown neck is the creator and he's the keeper of the tarot cards and it says clonic comes to the lamb and says praise the lamb so again it says praise the lamb you know how in the bible in the book of revelation it says that the only one who is worthy to open the scroll to break the seal is the lamb of god i praise one lamb and it is not the lamb of the occult but it is the lamb of the slain from the foundation of the world whose name is Jesus Christ. So again, everything is being perverted. When we get prophetic words, they get tarot cards and everything, it's just so perverted and so twisted. So let's see what he has to say about tarot cards right now. You will have the choice of two cards. 
both can aid you in your quest, but choose wisely. Clownic's face will be a welcome sight when the force. So they're talking about tarot cards, which we know is demonic, and. Let's just go back and like take a look at it for a second. So you can choose between twi between two cards, and one can help you, one can be a misfortune to you. As you can see, all the symbols. I don't really know what this means. The lovers one telescope. Don't really know what that means, and I don't really want to know. I don't really care. But um, it's all I know is that it's extremely demonic, and I'll show you this in scripture. Do you in your quest, but choose wisely. Clownic's face will be a welcome sight when the forces of darkness are closing. Back up. Watch quest, this. But choose wisely. I want you to notice the lamb that is in the background as the cards are like spinning around. His eyes are all red. Clownic's face will be a welcome sight when the forces See, of darkness are See, and then they are... just like, they shake it off. And if you've ever watched a demon manifest, they'll go, like their eyes will like roll back. They'll manifest, they'll levitate. And this is exactly what's happening here. Close in. Cool die. Cool die holds the weapons you need for your fight. You will be offered weapons and curses to choose from, but you can only pick one. Hey, Lob. Halo traps unsuspecting animals foolish enough to wander the lands alone, then sells them to the highest bidder. Back up. I want you guys Halo to see this. As animals. you can see, let's pause. You can see like all the other animals. It looks like a fox, a cow, a pig, a cat, uh, some sort of dog, and like some kind of horse or a donkey kind of situation as you can see and that represents once again human sacrifice you can see like bones you can see like skulls you can see uh, the cobweb and how it's getting ready to be sacrificed and it's uh, foolish I don't enough know. to wander the lands alone then sells them to the highest bidder unless he gets hungry of course the fisherman the fisherman will meet you in darkwood and show you the way to pilgrim's passage he seeks the beasts of the deep if you catch them for him, he will reward you with holy talisman pieces. And the fisherman is definitely a man, definitely not a fish. You will meet these characters and many more in your quest to free the one who waits. The cards you're dealt, the weapons you're gifted, and the knowledge you gather will serve you well as leader of the one true cult. You are a lamb possessed. Bound to create a cult. You are a lamb possessed, bound to create an occult. So it's literally provoking demon possession, indoctrination, a spirit of death, suicide, murder, spirit of witchcraft, a spirit of rebellion, a spirit of fear, a spirit of timidity. But the Bible says in Second Timothy one seven, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And the only way that you are perfect in love is to have the fear of God. To fear God is the beginning of wisdom. And this game is not the way to do it. Shadowy Savior, venture through a land of false prophets. Nurture your woodland worshippers and spread your word to become the one true cult. Here's a few pointers on how to fight for your cause and a glimpse of the four... So it's talking about like the one true cult. Like there is only one cult and da 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 da. And we know that in the world that we live in that there are many different kinds even in the church like religious leaders they are blinded by the spirit of religion and then they create like some sort of agenda that it's like we only do this for 15 minutes and we do this and then we do that and it turns into like this ritual that we just do because we go to church so they're saying this one true cult but i'm here to tell you that there's only one true religion there's only one true gospel one true Jesus, and there's only one true Messiah, there's only one true God, and his name is Jesus Christ, and again, I do not bow before any lamb, except for the lamb that was slain for the foundation of the world, the lamb of God, and his name is Jesus Christ, so he is the only one that is worthy, and this is too far, I don't know about y'all, but because this goes against kids, it makes me extremely mad, I don't have kids, obviously, I'm only 18, but I have friends, who have kids like I said Loretta she has a son I know of this other friend she has two daughters who's two and then I think four or five months old I have nieces and nephews who are younger or not nieces and nephews cousins who are younger I have like like little cousins who are like tiny newborn cousins who have to grow up in this world and it just absolutely drives me mad and again guys headache warning because this drives me like it literally turns my gears and puts me in overdrive because it's just so ridiculous
in your path. Fight like a lamb. You will venture into the ever-evolving lands of the old faith, battling the non-believers who would end your righteous mission. Find melee weapons like the sword, axe, and dagger, and tackle your enemies head-on. Absorbing curses let you wield the darker powers of the crown. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. Famine controls the hot, toxic lands of Anura. Kalamar, Lord of Anchor Deep, is born of pestilence and plague. Finally, wise Shamura of the Silk Cradle is the oldest of the four. These lands are dark and dangerous, but the light of So the faith... goal is to battle like the four, like I guess the four quote unquote false prophets, like the four beasts or whatever you want to call them. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Again, this is a perversion of the book of Revelation. Because we know that there are four beasts, quote unquote, in the book of Revelation. The lion, the face of a man, the ox, and that which is a flying eagle. Which I find that this to be very blasphemous, very satanic, very demonic. And it, uh, I don't Guide even know. To victory. Shepherd your followers. Build your strength. And smite the unworthy gods. And this just came out August 11th, pre-order now, um, on Nintendo Switch, all of that stuff, which I think that this is absolutely ridiculous. Y'all, go ahead, let me know what you think down in the comments below. But I want to go, go ahead and show you guys two pieces of information that I found from two separate articles, two different things that I found on Google that is absolutely disturbing. So let's go ahead and take a look. Right, everyone, let's take a look at the first one. So I Googled like what the game is about. Obviously we just watched the trailer, but this is about the game. So the Cult of the Lamb cast players in the role of a possessed lamb. So as the player partaking in this, you are opening doors to demonic spirits, unclean spirits, demons to literally enter in to your life and into your physical body, to enter into your soul. So the cult of the lamb cast a player. So if you're playing the game, you were in the role of a possessed lamb. If you play the role of a possessed lamb, then you just might end up demonized, okay? Um, saved from annihilation by an anonymous stranger and must repay their debt by building a loyal following in his name. So the goal is that you are an occultist uh, creating an occult um, who got saved from human sacrifice and your goal is to build a cult and a cult in his name and to repay the debt. The second piece of information is cultists. So the people playing the game are now entitled cultists, which absolutely ridiculous. Won't have to spend a dime in order to get more content for the game. The publisher, Devolver Digital, who's the person who created the game, has keen eye for spotting indie gems and giving them a chance. So you buy the game, you won't have to spend a dime to get more content and to fix the perks, to get perks, to get tweaks to the game, and has a keen... So Devolver Digital has a eye for spotting indie games and giving them a chance. The, this is the part I want to get to. The game has exceeded all expectations and thresholds, boasting more than 1 million players. This is what I find absolutely insane. 1 million people are being demonized, indoctrinated, possessed, and completely... I don't even know, just completely head over heels for this game and both, so they are boasting more than one million players. So y'all, that is going to be the end of this video. If you guys want to see a part two of exposing this video game, I have so much more. I could go into scripture. I could read more articles about it. And if you guys want a part two, let me know down in the description box below. And let me know what you overall think about this uh, down in the comment section below. Always remember that Jesus loves you. God bless. And don't forget to live each and every day supernatural.